Let me illustrate just how powerful it is by drawing on a researcher by Harvard economist David Cutler, um, researcher team that, that they did looking at a national sample of African Americans and whites. And they estimated, using fancy econometric models that I cannot even fully describe, <laughs> they estimated that if you could eliminate residential segregation in the, United, in the United States, you would completely erase black-white differences in income, education, and unemployment, and reduce black-white differences in single motherhoods by two thirds, single motherhood by two thirds. All of that driven by place and the concentration of social ills in place. So I, I completely agree that we need to think of place-based strategies. We need to think of how do we build uh, opportunity structures within places that gives everyone an equal chance. There's nothing inherently negative about living next to others of your own race. The problem of segregation uh, is the history that created these places of concentrated poverty and concentrated social ills and, in fact, higher rates of crime, and then it becomes a vicious cycle of reinforcing in the minds of Americans the stereotypes that they, they behold about race. So we, we have to address place and, and make a commitment uh, and make a commitment and an investment. I actually think we need a major investments in, in kind of disadvantaged neighborhoods, irrespective of race in this country, to improve opportunities for American children.